Anchors and pivots were one of the confusing things in Unity when I started development. Stretching and scaling of UI elements in the right way you want it to be is a little tricky if you don't give enough attention to it. Understanding the rec transform correctly will ease this process. So in this video, I'm gonna explain some of the things that were confusing for me in the early stages. Remember that this is a complete beginner video and if you already know the basics, then you can skip this video. With that said, let's dive into the main part of the video. So I have an empty 2D project opened here in Unity. First let's create a canvas. For that, right click on the hierarchy, UI and click on canvas. You can see a canvas component and an event system created. Let's set some of the things before going to the main stuff. Select an aspect ratio, I'm selecting 1920 by 1080 here and now select our canvas and change the UI scale mode from constant pixel size to scale with screen size. Type the 1920 by 1080 resolution in the reference resolution. Ok, that's done. The main difference between a normal transform and a rect transform is that a normal transform contains the position, rotation and scale properties of an object in 3D space. But in a rect transform, in addition to positioning z-axis, rotation and scale, it represents a 2D rectangle with a width and height related to a pivot point. A rect transform can be anchored using angles to its parent if that parent also has a rect transform component. Every UI element we create will be the child of canvas which has a rect transform. So every UI element will be anchored to its parent in some way which have a rect transform. Let's see what I meant by that by creating a button. Let's create a panel and inside it let's create a button. I'm resizing it for the better view. By looking in the inspector we can see the position, width and height. Position X and Y represents the distance from the anchor point to the pivot along the X and Y axis. Position Z is the distance along the Z axis. The blue circle in the center of the button is called its pivot. Rotation, size and scale modification occur around the pivot so the position of the pivot affects the outcome of the rotation, resizing or scaling. When the toolbar pivot button is set to pivot mode, the pivot of the rec transform can be moved in the scene view. There you can see 4 triangles in the center of the button which represents the anchors. Each anchor represents one corner of the button. Anchors are placed in the bounds of its parent's rectangle, not the UI element's rectangle. If the band of the rect transform is also a rect transform, the child rect transform can be anchored to the parent rect transform in various ways. For example, the child, here is the button, can be anchored to the center of the parent which is the panel or to one of the corners. Now let's see some of the use cases using these anchors and pivots. One important thing you need to keep in mind is that the distance between the anchor and the associated corner of the rect transform is a fixed value. Let's place the anchors at the center of the panel and place our button below it. Now let's stretch the panel. As you can see the distance from the anchors and the corners maintains as we stretch the panel. Let's try some other cases that may become useful in your future projects. For making this process faster, the rect transform has anchor presets window, stretch options in the sides of the window and fixed options in the center. When you simply click on each presets, it sets anchor positions only. If you press shift button, then it also sets its pivot. Additionally, you can press alt for setting up the position of the UI element also. You need to make sure your UI elements fits for every screen sizes before shipping the game. If you want to know how to optimize the UI for every mobile devices without actually testing on them, then check out this video. And that's it, that's the end of this video. Thanks to Justin Kerr for his support on Patreon. As always, like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video.